Hi everybody, I'm back one more time and I still would like to share something else from John chapter 14 verse 27. In fact, this, maybe this is the best part from uh, the words of Jesus. I'll read it again and then make a few comments. John chapter 14 verse 27. Jesus says, I give you peace, the kind of peace that only I can give. It isn't like the peace that this world can give. So don't be worried or afraid. In reading about the culture that uh, the Jewish people were living in during the time of Jesus. There was a, uh, uh, the Roman government was in control and they had what was called the Pax Romana, which meant the peace of Rome or the peace of the Roman Empire. It was a peace that was forced. It was a peace that was created by violence from the Roman government, the Roman military, the Roman armies. And uh, when Jesus says, the peace that I give is not like the peace of the world, I think he was specifically referring to the fake peace that was offered by the Roman Empire. Fake in the sense that it was only real if you cooperated with them and did it their way. But the peace that Jesus gives is real. And what, what did Jesus mean by giving us peace? I believe primarily he meant that we have peace with God because of his death and his resurrection paid the price for our sin. And now we can come before God, we can come before our Heavenly Father free. We can come before our Father forgiven. We can come before our Father with a new relationship, a relationship of peace, a relationship characterized by His peace in us, in our lives, not just superficially, but deep in our hearts. The peace that he gives is a peace unlike uh, anything the world can ever offer. And it's really the peace that our hearts long for. Because as Augustine said many years ago in church history, we were created by God and our hearts are restless until we find peace in him. He is our peace and he is the one who gives us peace far greater than we can ever have in this world. Let me pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your peace. Thank you for your gift of new life, new hope, new joy. Thank you for bringing us into a relationship of peace with you. Thank you that the barrier is gone because of Jesus. Thank you that our sins are forgiven because of Jesus. And thank you that we are now right with you because of Jesus. Father, I pray for CCCM and all the people that consider their, uh, themselves part of the congregation. Father, May we experience the peace of an intimate relationship with you more so than ever before. May we be flooded with your peace. May we know your forgiveness. May we know your love. May we know the life that you have given to us. And Father, I pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, and I pray for each of you. Go in peace.